All right, so we finally had our first, I don't want to call it an Airstream failure. It's more like a Dometic failure. Surprise. So we went to turn on the water heater on gas and this happened. So I called the dealer and they said you can bring the trailer down and they'll get to it when they can and then diagnose it and then put in the claim for warranty repair and then wait for the parts and then try to get to the trailer when they can again and then we can come and get it. And it's two and a half hours one way. So it's two and a half hours down, drop it off, two and a half hours back, wait a, what, a month? two and a half hours down again to get it, and two and a half hours back. So I did some of my own diagnosing. So I came out here to the water heater. This is a it's Atwood made by Dometic. So what I was looking at down here is when we flip the switch inside, you can hear this solenoid open and then you can hear the gas flow, but it never even tries to ignite. You know, when you trying to light a gas appliance it goes click 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 it doesn't even do that so I check the igniter because this wire here runs down to the igniter and that's where it makes uh, I guess sparks to ignite the, the gas it wasn't doing anything so I mean keep in mind I don't really know what I'm doing I'm not a technician so I check continuity from here to here where this this plugs in and this wire all the way to the igniter is fine. So I'm suspecting it's this board. So I asked the Airstream dealer about just getting that board and they said $360 for the control board. So I said, that's not happening. So what we did, we got on, on the internet, I got a new one for 80 bucks. It's 80 bucks out of my pocket. I know it's a warranty repair, but like I said, I don't wanna drive down and back twice and not have the trailer for a couple weeks. So I'm just gonna replace this myself. So I already unplugged the igniter. So I'm gonna unplug these wiring harnesses. There's two here. It's got two screws that hold it in. The old one's out. You gotta be careful you don't strip these. <laughs> Plug these back in, and you can't really swap them because one's big, one's small. And you can look here where they plug in, you can see the big one goes on the bottom, the small one on the top. Plug the igniter back in, put the little boot over it. And now I'm gonna go inside, flip the switch, and see if it'll ignite. So it took all what? Five minutes, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> so the dealer said we could send that board back, try to get it replaced under warranty and then ship me the new one. So I think we'll do that. That way we just have a spare. Yeah, that was really easy. Yep. Pretty straightforward. You can't really screw this one up. Yeah, you, you can't mess that up. And it works. We have hot water. <laughs>